car prices are down, you have to change your strategy and learn how to move the market. If you're buying a car for the first time or second time, or if you're an experienced tour host or not, it doesn't really matter. What I like to do when I buy a car, if it's outright for cash, if it's a lease, if it's a finance owned, doesn't matter. I try to make sure I earn all my payments, especially when it's a time of high inflation and deep depreciation on a vehicle. I try to earn all my payments within 10 days of a month, meaning if my car payment is $700, I try to do my best to earn $70 per day in 10 days, so that's, a, so that's $700, and that way I'm good to go, and I have 20 days to make more profit, or 20 days to um, recover if my car goes through a, a damage claim, et cetera, or if it gets stolen, whatever the case is, if it's getting cleaned, I'm not so stressed out. The more the car is more inflated in regards to where the car prices are up, I do make it as much more conservative as possible. I still try to do it even if the market's down, but especially when it's up, I want to reduce debt as fast as possible. So that means I need to pay it off as soon as possible within those 10 days. Now, when the debt goes, when the inflation goes down and the price, price car prices go down and it's better price, you get cars with better prices, I'll still try to pay it off in 10 days, but I could be more flexible and put that maybe 15 days, maybe even 20 days. And because it's lower, but I highly recommend like do your best to pay within 10 days, maybe max 15 days, regardless if it's up or down. It's not important about the car payments, the car market going up or down. It's more important about getting the car paid within 10 days. So the rest of those the rest, the other 20 days of the month, you could actually earn profit on top of what you already compounded. Very important to understand this lesson. That's my pure opinion. Do as you please. Do your own due diligence. Call me now.